Okay, I made it to uh, my accommodation in Saigon without any great hassles, which I was surprised at. I had the worst taxi driver I've ever come across, a total sleeve bag rip-off merchant. Uh, but in spite of that, I, I didn't let him get, get away with um, ripping me off. He actually asked for $100,000 before I'd even got out of the bloody airport. Uh, that's just not on. Uh, you pay at the end of the, once once the actual fare has come up on the meter. So this guy was weird. He just kept talking and talking and talking. We had the most bizarre conversation. Now I'm actually um, walking up to the top of the building where I'm staying at in Saigon. It's quite interesting. It's uh, a real authentic local area and uh, nothing like the hotels I've stayed at. I just want to show you the uh, washing machine. It's uh, quite bizarre. Like for me, this is the uh, the speed that it is filling at. I estimate I'll probably get my wash done in a, well, what is it today? It's Friday. Maybe by next Monday it might be uh, finished. But uh, yeah, it's uh, all the instructions are in English. However, they don't seem to work anyway. It's got different type of um, cycles washing cycles but uh, none of them seem to actually work but if nothing else getting my trying to get my washing done up here is, gives me an opportunity to go on the top of the building which is quite a good view as you can see panoramic view of the local area and um, it's also some bloody good exercise because things about five flights up and of course there's no elevator here. I, I don't know who's actually living here, whether it's just an extended family, because I met the uh, the host uh, yesterday with his wife and kid, and they're downstairs. So I've got no idea whether, I mean, it's such a big building, you know, like about five stories, whether it's occupied by a number of people. There's another flat further down, and, um, that doesn't seem to be occupied at this stage, but I could be wrong, like I am about them, so many things here. Uh, but it's all interesting stuff, and uh, compared to Malaysia, this is a thrill a minute. Um, you know, Vietnam can be a pain in the ass in certain ways, but gee, I'd say it's great. I mean, yesterday I couldn't find a, a uh, a toilet roll for love or money. The uh, the host told me where I did. There's a big store, but I just could not locate it. This area doesn't seem to have any large, like uh, supermarket type stores or even, you know, Seven Elevens. Nothing like that. It's bizarre. However, you know, it's like I say, it's very authentic and it's uh, quite interesting. I don't think I have a problem getting a coffee this morning. God knows I need it because I've got a bit of a hangover after a big night at Number Five Bar and. And also uh, vinyl bar. Oh, by the way, I stuffed up the. Um, I got there and I'm thinking, I freaked out. I thought, is vinyl, vinyl bar closed? I thought, gee, that'd be a blow because it's one of the major reasons I come here. I love that place. Um, and uh, then I went to number five bar and it seemed fairly quiet. You know, because I thought it was, uh, it was after five o'clock and that's when happy hours usually in, in full. Uh, you know, fully fledged and in uh, lots of patrons. But as it turned out, I hadn't changed my clock from uh, Malaysia to um, to the local time, and it was actually an hour later. So it was actually that explained well. Explained also why the um, the vinyl bar wasn't I couldn't locate because it, it wasn't open yet. It doesn't open till five o'clock. So um, that that was all explained. So this is my um, where I'm staying, as you can see. That was a spare bedroom. My main bedroom you've already seen, just here. It's quite reasonable. And there's a little balcony outside too, which is nice. And of course I've got a kitchen. There's the kitchen. Not sure how the gas works. There's a gas tank down there, as you can see. And there's a... Uh, a range top, a gas range top there, and a toaster oven and a microwave. Um, I mean, I don't plan on doing any great cooking. I don't want, I want to get away from cooking while I'm here, but um, you never know, I might do one or two cooks. I'm here for a couple of weeks. This is a little balcony I have, my own balcony. 
Uh, that's a balcony up there, quite nice. Um, there's the laneway down there. And yeah, it's all very, very, uh, very authentic uh, Vietnamese living. Quite nice uh, change from being in a hotel, to be honest with you.